Hey guys! So I'm back, alright? Let's get some readings done today. Today is Sunday, okay? Y'all, I just ran a fucking errand. It's hot as hell out there, y'all. <laughs> it's hot as hell out there. I left out, came back sweaty as a fucking dog, okay? Uh-uh. Yeah, today is beach weather. Uh-uh. Eight of Cups. Somebody walking away from their Knight of Cups. Uh-oh. Let's get to it. Woo! Angels, ancestors of the light, spirit, most high God. Please use me to channel nothing but truth and honesty in this reading for my YouTube collective. What are they unaware of at this time? Um, what do you want them to know today, spirit? All right? And I'll just see the Let's get into it. Energy for YouTube collective spirit. What you want them to know today, spirit? Damn. <laughs> All right. You aggressive today, spirit. We got the moon. We have eight of swords. We have. Hold on, I'm trying to turn down my music, y'all. We have the star. We have Queen of Swords in reverse. Oh, we have Ten of Cups. <laughs> you and I. We got Page of Swords in reverse. The Hermit. Page of Cups. The Chariot. Okay, let's see if Spirit has anything else to say. Hold on, let me fix these cards. Okay, yeah, four right here. Let's do five right here. Okay, here we go. Let me see. Spirit, anything else? Or is this it? One, two, three. Okay. Then we have seven of pentacles. Seven of pentacles. Page of pentacles. Nine of Cups. Okay. So, first card out is the moon. So, somebody's hiding secrets, collective. I don't know if it's you or your person or whoever the fuck this is. But somebody's definitely hiding something. Mm-hmm. Apply it where it resonates. And then we have Eight of Swords in reverse. First of all, the, the illustration in this in this card is fucking immaculate, all right? <laughs> I'm just staring at the fucking the mirror. But I see here that she think I don't know if this is you or your person collective, but somebody thinks that they're trapped and they're not. 303 on a timer. You guys are not trapped, all right? If you guys are feeling trapped, you're not, all right? Let's read it. Let's read it. I got my coffee today, y'all. Y'all, I don't even drink coffee, but today I said, Barry, let me just get one cup of coffee, please. Okay. I ain't supposed to drink this, y'all. I ain't. I'm going to be honest, but, you know, I have my days where I'm like, listen, please, Barrett, let me just have a cup of coffee. Let me just have a slice of cheese. <laughs> you understand? Damn. So, uh, eight of swords. <laughs> eight of swords in reverse. Disquiet, difficulty, opposition, accident, treachery, the unforeseen fatality. Mm. So somebody's hiding some type of difficulty. Um, somebody's hiding an accident. Unforeseen fatality. Somebody's hiding a death. I mean, something like that. Y'all gotta apply it where it resonates. All right. I know y'all all. When I when I give y'all the energy that I see, you guys. This is why you guys have to use your intuition and use your discernment. Okay, guys. Because I'm just reading the energy here. But yeah, somebody is wishing on a star. Yeah, somebody here is wishing on a star. Okay, let's read it. Oh my God, that's my shit. <laughs> Y'all, I got music in my ears today. I'm gonna be singing, all right? Y'all gonna have to excuse me. <laughs> the star, law, theft, probation, abandonment. Yeah, hope and bright prospects. I, I want to see it 
maybe I should take the music out. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to focus. Fuck. All right. <laughs> so somebody's hiding some shit. I like I said, some accident, a death, um, some difficulty. But there is hope. There is hope. Maybe this is you or your person. Somebody has some type of hope in the situation. That's good. You guys should have hope in you guys' situation. But Queen of Swords, girl. Queen of Swords is coming out in reverse. She ain't fucking with nobody. She ain't. Look at her. She's in reverse. In the upright, the Queen of Swords, she is, she is very fair, but she defends herself, you know, with no question. Um, she don't take no shit. In reverse, Queen of Swords is very... Queen of Swords can be very... She can be stuck in her head a little bit. Um, she can be... I'm going to say it, y'all. Queen of Swords in reverse can be low vibrational. All right? I'm going to... I have to say it. All right? Let's read it. She can be low vibration, you know? Because she's stuck in her head. She's fucking overthinking and shit. All right. In reverse, it says malice, bigotry, artifice, prudery, deceit. So, yeah, that's what we see. So, but some of you guys want to sit on it, <laughs> okay? That's the song that's on. That's the song on, okay? Jasmine Sullivan featuring Ari Lennox, all right? On it. Somebody want to sit on it, all right? I'm just being honest. Yeah, you guys want the Ten of Cops, all right? You guys are lying. Yeah, that's this is why you out with confirmation. You heard the horn? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Somebody's hiding some fucking accident, death, whatever the fuck. But somebody has hope, all right? You have hope and shit for the future. But this Queen of Swords here, I don't know if this is you, your person, whoever this is. Um, this can be a Gemini. It doesn't have to be. It could just be somebody that has Gemini in their chart or has um, air, like air air signs in their chart. Um, yeah. But you guys want the Ten of Cups, guys. You do. You want to sit on it. That's the song that's on right now. <laughs> oh, shit. Lord, we doing this today on a Sunday? Lord of mercy. But then we have Page of Swords here in reverse. Why do we have Page of Swords here? What the freak? Page of Swords here in reverse. Mm. More evil side of these qualities. What is unforeseen and unprepared state? Sickness is also intimidated. I mean, intimated. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um... Somebody here is sick, all right? I just got to call it how I see it. Somebody here is sick, or if they don't be careful, they can become sick, all right? Whether this is um, whatever type of sickness this is, guys, all right? You guys have to use your intuition, use your discernment. Somebody's hiding secrets, deceit, accidents, deaths, whatever, all right? But somebody's wishing on a star. Queen of Swords is not fucking having that shit because she knows there's deceit. Um, yeah, she wants Ten of Cups, you know, whoever the fuck you are. You, you guys want Ten of Cups, you know? But at the end of the day, it's like, I don't, I don't want to be sick. You know what I mean? I don't want to be mentally sick. I don't want to be physically sick. I don't want to be sick. This is y'all energy. Like, y'all don't want to be... I'm fucking shaking right now because this is how you guys feel. You guys want the Ten of Cups. Like, you do. But at the end of the day, you don't want to be trapped in your head. You know what I'm saying? Having anxiety, depression, PTSD, worrying about where the fuck your love is at, what they doing. Damn, they not calling me back. Fuck, they didn't pull up. They didn't come home tonight. Fuck, you know what I'm saying? I know this motherfucker got something going on on the side. I, 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 you know what I'm saying? That's going to put you in a state of depression. That's going to put you in a state of anxiety. All right? That's going to put you in a back in a state that you don't need to go back into, collective. So spirit is saying, use your intuition, use your discernment. All right, because spirit knows you don't you don't need to be mentally or physically fucking sick. So, all right, let's keep reading. You can love somebody, but sometimes you gotta go like this. Sometimes you have to love a person so much to walk away. And I know that shit is hard as fuck. Like it's fucking hard as fuck. It really is. But you have to, you know. And I'm not listen. When I talk to you guys, I'm not here to tell you guys what to do. All right, you guys have the most high God watching over you, providing for you, loving loving on you, guiding you, and pouring everything good into you. 
wanting the ultimate best for you. You have your spirit team guiding you. You know what I'm saying? Talking to you, sending you the signs and synchronicities. But at the end of the day, collective, and, and you got me here, right? Raya J giving you giving you all these these readings and giving you all these energies, right? But at the end of the day, collective, you do have free will. And your spirit team know this. The most high God knows it. Alright? But just know every every decision, alright, comes with a consequence, whether it's good or bad. Alright? You can sit here and know all the facts. Y'all smart as fuck, alright? And y'all are using y'all intuition. Spirit says keep using your intuition. Keep using your intuition. Keep leading with love. And like I said, collective, right? Sometimes you, you, you have to love a person so much to walk away. All right, collective? So you all use your intuition, use your discernment on that. Ladies, if you feel me, help me sing it out. Okay, Beyonce playing right now, y'all. Me, myself, and I. Yeah, some of y'all are just like me, myself, and I. That's how y'all y'all in the energy of me, myself, and I. All right? Because you ain't got time for the fuck shit, collective. You ain't got time for that shit. Yeah, so y'all are in hermit mode. Mm-hmm. Y'all. All the ladies, if you feel me, help me sing it out. Yes. All right, y'all are in hermit mode. Like, fuck that. It's me, myself, and I. Okay? Yeah, so we got the page of cups here coming out next. That's all good again. Oh, 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 He's, he's coming out and up, right? Let's read him. Page of Cups. Here we go. Page of Cups. Yeah. A fair young man, one impelled to render service with with whom the quarant was connected. A studious youth news message, application, reflection, meditation. Things reflected to business. So, yeah. Some Page of Cups person is going to uh, approach you guys. They have some type of message, news, application, um, business opportunity for you coming. Um... Or, or some of you guys need to meditate, all right? If it's not that, if it's not um, news, message, or application um, coming towards you, some of you guys are reflecting. Some of you guys are reflecting on your life. Some of you guys are meditating, all right? Because you guys are just trying to, you guys are just trying to stay in that, in that, in that, um, oh my God, in that energy of stillness, calmness, peace. You know what I'm saying? Um... Yeah. All right. So apply it where it resonates. Yeah. Somebody is wishing that they can come in quick, but spirit has a hold on them. All right. Spirit is like, no, you're not rushing in quick to my collective. No, the fuck you're not. All right. Because that is just at this time, that's not the best thing for you to rush in quick and try to manipulate some energy. You know what I'm saying? So guys, continue to use your intuition and discernment. Continue to protect yourself. Um, let's read it. There was something inside of you. Yeah, y'all are in y'all fucking romantic bag today, okay? <laughs> y'all are in y'all romantic bag today, just now. So, yeah, um, chariot in reverse means a riot, a quarrel, a dispute, litigation, defeat. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. It looks here that... Yeah, if it's you, if it's not you or it's your person, um, somebody's going through some type of quarrel, you know what I mean? Some sort of dispute um, with others. Somebody also has been defeated. But I have the Seven of Pentacles here. Let's see what the Seven of Pentacles is about. Seven of Pentacles? Options. Is Seven of Pentacles options? Let me see. What the fuck is Seven of Pentacles? Your right on time, angel. No, my anxiety, yeah. Oh no, but in the upright, it says these are exceedingly contradictory in the main. It is a card of biz money, business, barter. But one reading gives altercation, quarrel, and another innocence, ingenuity, per 
projection. Hmm. Yeah, it's just, it's a lot of conflict going on. You know, I don't know what you guys are going through. I don't know what you guys are going through, but it's a lot of conflict here. You know what I'm saying? Somebody has some secrets. There, there, there was some accident or some accident or some fucking, you know, some opposition here. But somebody is also wishing on a star. They have hope about the situation or whatever. This queen of, this queen of swords here in reverse is like, uh-uh. Like, I know there's some deceit here, but somebody here wants the ten of cups. Somebody here is also, um, what the fuck was the page of swords again? You all right, okay? Page of swords. What the fuck was the page of swords again, guys? I don't know how y'all channel with music. I'm gonna be honest. I'm fucking distracted as fuck. Because all I want to do is sing. <laughs> I only share it with you. I already knew. Yeah, a state of sickness. <sighs> yeah, somebody's sick here, man. Somebody's sick here. Somebody's in hermit mode. Somebody's meditating and reflecting on their decisions. Somebody wishes that they can come in quick, but they can't. You know, there's a lot of quarrel and a lot of fucking... Fucking... Oh my God, it's like... Some shit is going on behind the scenes, guys. And it's like, yeah, it's crazy, you know? You, got, you guys have to use your intuition, use your discernment on this one. There's a lot of different energy in this reading. Business, yeah, is it a card? It is a card of money, business, barter. But one reading gives altercation, core, and another, innocence, ingenuity, purgation. Hold on, y'all. Let me look something else. Right on time, angel mine. The quality of being clever, original, inventive, inventiveness, creativity, imagination, originality. Hmm. So somebody here is innocent. Somebody here is innocent. Somebody here is innocent with the Seven of Pentacles. This could be you, collective, or your person. Hold on, guys. Yeah, there was a riot, a quarrel, a dispute, a defeat. Somebody here is innocent. Um, and then with the Page of Pentacles here, and the Upright, Page of Pentacles came out, we got the Page of Pentacles here coming out after the Seven of Pentacles, so somebody here is innocent, so now let's read the Page of Pentacles. Hold on, guys. Page of Pentacles. Application, study, scholarship, reflection, another reading says news, message, and the bringer of also rule management. Hmm. Somebody wants to manage you guys? The fuck? Somebody wants to manage you guys. Um, somebody's bringing some type of application. Maybe some of you guys are getting a, a scholarship. Congratulations, you guys. If you guys are getting a scholarship, oh my God, that's major fucking news. Congratulations. Or you guys are getting some type of application for a new job or some shit. Congratulations. You will get the job, just know. And also management. Somebody wants to manage you guys? Okay. And then we got nine of cups here. So you guys are about to be in blissful energy, happiness, peace, and love, staying determined, motivated, and focused. All right? You guys are going to be loving on yourself, loving on your children, taking care of your home, your responsibilities, your, your health. All right? Keeping yourself uplifted, keeping yourself in good energy. This is a, this is a good reading. It has a lot of different energy in here, you know? Secrets, defeat, somebody has hope. Queen of Swords is not fucking with it, but there's the Ten of Cups. There's a potential for Ten of Cups here. Um, yeah, man, but there, there was a lot of, like, fighting and shit. Quarreling and 
you in hermit mode and shit. <laughs> like, you probably don't even know what the fuck is going on, okay? Because you just in hermit mode, trying to meditate, trying to stay focused, trying to stay uplifted and shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm, you can't stop till you find my love. Oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You guys got business deals coming. Some of you guys have business deals coming. There's some fighting and shit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some of y'all are meditating, reflecting on your life. I see here. Listen, this is a mixture of mixed energy here. All right, y'all gotta apply it where it resonates. Let's see, Spirit, anything else? This reading is all over the place. One. Oh, shit. Two. All right, let's keep going. Spirit said keep going. Ooh, wow, that's a lot. Okay, yeah, somebody's walking away from some shit. They wanna be liberated. Oh, shit, King of Wands here. Six of Pentacles. Somebody want equal reciprocity. Somebody is fucking um, with the hangman here. Somebody is uh, reflecting really, really hard, thinking really, really hard, meditating and shit. Somebody is in hermit mode like a bitch. All right. <laughs> page of Wands here. Um, page of Wands. What the fuck is Page of Wands? Yeah, Page of Wands here, dark young man, faithful lover, and envoy, bold man, beside that he will be a, a favorable testimony concerning him. He is a dangerous rival if followed by the Page of Cubs. Yeah, um, somebody wants to be with you and love your shit, but they're not fucking loyal. You the Queen of Wands. They know you sexy as fuck, like the bad bitch, the baddest bitch every fucking where you go. Wherever your feet w walks, you're the baddest bitch, all right? Or the, or the sexiest motherfucker, okay? Yeah, people are not leading with love. The tower hit, it's over. High Priestess, um, High Priestess, why is the High Priestess in reverse? High Spirit, High Priestess, why is the High Priestess in reverse? Passion, moral or physical ardor, conceit, surface knowledge. Hmm. Somebody doesn't have all the information that they need. Somebody does not have all the information that they need. Somebody wants to celebrate with you guys. Or oh, this is you. I don't fucking know. It's not going to happen. Ace of Pentacles for whoever's on the right side of the energy. Some Knight of Swords is rushing in. They're not on the right side of the energy. People are fighting. Yeah, because they're in the Five of, uh, five of Pentacles. All right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Spirit, should I do angel messages? Let's do angel messages. I haven't been doing angel messages as often as I should. Either way, guys, if you're on the wrong side of your energy, guess what, guys? You got to fix that, okay? Some of you guys need to go to therapy. You guys need to really go on hermit mode, lock in on yourself. Focus on nothing but your, your, your inner child healing, all right? Focus on nothing but your adult healing, okay? You need to heal all that shit. A lot of you guys don't want to do the work. You have to do the work, all right? If your mother broke your heart, if your father was a deadbeat, if your fucking family wasn't shit, all right, and you feel like you ain't shit because of your ancestors and your background and your upbringing, guess what? You all have to do the work. Stop being corrupt, all right? Take a leap of faith and do the healing work, okay? And then I split the deck down the middle, all right? Yeah, again, the bottom of the deck. Stop being corrupt. Stop being corrupt. A lot of you guys are corrupted out there in the world. You don't even know why. I'm going to tell you why. You know why? Because your mother wasn't shit. Your father wasn't there. Nobody fucking loved you. So therefore, you don't even know how to love yourself. Because nobody taught you. The only way you can love another person and fully have that Ten of Cups energy, your Erdman, huh? the way you can ha be, uh, um, you know, the way the sun can shine on you, Okay? And, and judgment will be called on your life, okay? And, and some of you can be the empress or the emperor. The only fucking way, right, is by, and get that fucking two of cups. You understand? It's because, and get that ten of cups. You guys have to heal. Y'all don't want to hear that, but that's the truth. Go over there and heal. Look at this king of cups. This king of cups is meditating, all right? Good job, king of cups, whoever you are. Yeah, and that's the fucking truth. You know what you got to do. You gotta heal. Exactly. And that's the truth with the Ace of Swords. Let's get some angel messages so I can do another reading. Y'all not gonna be fucking with my energy today. I'm telling y'all right now, Galactic. Y'all ain't fucking with my energy. 
I woke up feeling pretty good, okay? I really can't complain, you know what I'm saying? When I wake up, I feel blessed. Simple as that. Simple as that. When I wake up, I'm like, wow, I'm so blessed. Just to wake up and breathe. <gasps> Just to breathe, like, you know what I'm saying? Just to see my kid wake up and breathe. <gasps> like, because in a snap of a motherfucking finger, God can wipe your whole shit out. Y'all need to recognize. Y'all really need to recognize. Angels, ancestors of the light, spirit, most high God, please give me some uh, information here for this collective that I'm reading for today. What are they unaware of at this time? What do you want them to know, spirit? Let's give them some angel messages to just calm down the energy, please. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Three cards here for my collective spirit. Yes, yeah, some of y'all can't get this person. Ooh, some of y'all can't get y'all person out of your system. You just can't. You love them so fucking much. But they hurt you so fucking much. You know? And yeah, forgiving, forgiving, yeah, forgive people, man. You should forgive everybody in your life that's ever did you dirty. Because if you don't, you holding on to that motherfucking pain. It's weighing you down. All right, we got our three cards. Thank you, Spirit. First card out here is Indigo. All right, it says the person you're inquiring about is an indigo, meaning a highly sensitive natural born leader. So you or your person or both of you guys are indigo children. When your parents birth you guys, you were born as an indigo child. You're very fucking sensitive, very sensitive. All right, to sounds, people, chemicals, all type of shit. All right, because low key, you're a fucking angel. Low key, some of y'all don't even know that. You wondering, why am I so fucking sensitive? Damn, my feelings got hurt. What the fuck? Like, why? Why? You know, when I dr like uh, when I drink alcohol, I feel so like gloomy and shit. The next morning, yeah, because y'all are indigo children. Certain shit y'all are doing in y'all life, y'all not even supposed to be doing it because you're an indigo ch a child. You was born this way. Twenty seven oh seven on the timer. You guys look up these numbers. All right. That's why it's very important for you guys to heal. Because as you heal, you will learn so much about yourself. Like, y'all, I swear to God, before I started this, yo, it's coming up on one year. I've been on my spiritual journey, you know, my official spiritual journey. In August, it's going to be one year. August, I think, 13, 14, or 15, it's going to be officially one year for me. And I'm so fucking proud of myself, all right? Because on this journey that I've been on, right, just to share, you, share with you all a little one, too. Yo, like, I really thought I had myself figured out before my spiritual journey. I was like, no, I'm this way. I know who the fuck I am. Boop, boop, boop. And in reality, a bitch ain't no shit. I thought I did. Well, I knew I knew some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not idiotic. I ain't fucking stupid. But it's like, when you tap into your spiritual journey, when you tap into your spiritual journey, guys, God will awaken so many things about yourself your real self not you when you look in the mirror you see your physical self no when you look in the mirror you need to look at your heart look at really who you are think back to those times you were a child you know those things you used to love to do those places you used to love to go those fucking hobbies you used to have and it's like some way somehow you guys fell off track listen i get it i fell off fucking y'all know i i am not one to sit here and judge people and fucking um makes make myself seem like i'm better than somebody that's not me i'm actually humble as fuck i've been through hella shit but you know what at the end of the day i used all that shit to make me greater all of it i don't give a fuck what the fuck i went through i used every fucking thing to make me stronger to make me better to make me wiser and to not give the fuck up on myself so on my spiritual journey i realized wow wow raya j you're an indigo child that's why you're so damn sensitive and empathetic and shit. Highly sensitive person. You know, you want to you wanna fucking help yourself and you want to help people. <laughs> you want to help yourself and you want to help people so fucking much. Because I'm an indigo child. I'm very fucking sensitive. And, and some, some of you all, I know some of you all are resonating with this. Y'all are indigo children too. Ask your parent. If your parent, let me tell you something. Y'all, Some of y'all have blessings in y'all lives and y'all don't even realize the blessings that y'all have, right? See, because me, I don't have a mother or a father physically here with me, right? To my knowledge. And, you know, 
I've always just wanted to sit down and talk to my mom, you know? I've always just wanted to sit down and talk to my dad and ask him, how was I as a baby? You know what I'm saying? Get that, get that knowledge, y'all. Get that knowledge, get that information, get that guidance about when you was a young child because as you sit down and talk to your parents, which is a blessing, I wish I can sit down physically with both of my parents and talk to them. Well, Ma, how was it when you had me? How was the labor and delivery with me? Did you have an easy birth? Was it complicated? Did I come out fast or slow? Did I have a big head? You know what I'm saying? Certain shit, it's like, I wanna know about all that shit because when you know about your entire life's existence, yo, and then you on your spiritual journey, oh my God, add all that shit together, you will understand really who you are. You would, your parents telling you certain stories about yourself, baby, when you was four, you did this. When you was six, you did this, and it was unbelievable. I was so proud of you. And you, you know, you used to be so shy. And I used to say, hey, baby, you don't gotta be shy, but you just was so shy. You know, you was you was very like um, anti-social at times. You know, you didn't wanna hang out in the groups. You sit over there in the side table and do your own thing. Yeah, I knew it was something special about you, baby. <laughs> so just, Man, those of you guys that still have your parents in your life, please sit down and talk to your parents. Ask them. Ask, even if you guys don't have a good relationship with them, say, Ma, Pops, can we just sit down and have a talk about my childhood? You know, I just want you to bring me back to that time when I was a little, a little child. I want to understand who I am on a soul level. When you understand your childhood, when you understand your, 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 your school days, when you understand your, the things that happen in your adult life, you have to put all that shit together, guys. Put it all together. Add it all up. All right? Do your, do your, do your, do your inner healing. Do your adult healing. All right? And, 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 and then, once you heal all of that, right? Yo. Yo. You're going to have major spiritual awakenings on your spiritual journey. And you're going to just realize shit about yourself. Oh, I never really liked this. I'm not really into this. What the fuck was I doing all this time? I, I'm actually this type of person. I, and I actually want to be like this. And I and I actually don't like that. But I like, you know what I'm saying? Some of you guys are indigo children and you need to tap into that. Y'all, if you ever wonder, why am I so sensitive? This is why. You're an indigo child. Ever since you was a child... You had spirit guides right there with you. <laughs> your angels and ancestors of the light was right there with you. This you riding your motherfucking tricycle on the sidewalk. And you don't even know who's on the back of your tricycle. Your spirit guides. Your angels and ancestors of the light. Because they've been protecting you the whole damn time. Yeah, I went on a whole tangent about that. But listen, it's very everything I say is very important. It's very important, you guys. Listen to everything that I'm saying. Take what you need to take. Leave the rest. And that's it, you know? So the next card that came out here is deal away addictions. It says, it's time to let go of behaviors that are blocking you from your heart's desire. Ask Archangel Raphael to help you with this healing. So some of you guys are like, you have addictions, you know? Some of you guys are addicted to sex. Some of you guys are addicted to drugs. I know people don't consider weed drugs, but it's, it's still, it's still, Listen, man, it's not a drug. It's not like fucking pills or whatever the fuck, right? It is natural. It comes from the earth. Yes, we understand that. But the most high God and your spirit guys, some of y'all are so fucking sensitive that they don't even want y'all to smoke because it's, it's, it's fucking with you. I'm going to be honest with you. It's fucking with your, your third eye chakra. It's fucking with your fucking throat chakra. It's fucking with your heart chakra. It's making you numb to emotions that... You need to feel your emotions, guys. You need to feel your emotions. Some of you guys drink too much. You guys want to go out every fucking weekend and drink. Do you guys ever sit at home and just say, you know what? I'm going to just put on Netflix, have a fucking cup of popcorn and drink some water and just chillax. You guys have to deal away addictions because you guys are indigo children. You have to understand everything that you see, speak, eat, go, whatever the fuck, do, it all has an effect on your sensitivity. So some of y'all are walking around here numb as fuck, trying to numb the pain, trying to numb the pain, woo, oh my God, trying to numb the pain. When God wants you to feel the pain, God wants you to know that you are an indigo child, 
for a reason. So you guys have to deal away addictions because it is holding you back. Mm-hmm. So what you can do is just ask Archangel Michael, uh, I mean, ask Archangel Raphael to help you deal, to help you with this healing, okay? So just say, please, Archangel, uh, Archangel Raphael, can you help me? Can you help me um, with this healing? Can you help me deal away my addictions? Can you heal me, Archangel Raphael? And they will. Again, you you are an indigo child. As soon as you call on your angels, they there. They like, what's good? What's popping? I'm pulling up. All right? So, yeah, the last card. Whew, the last card here. We got this card yesterday, y'all. The last card here is listen to your intuitive feelings. It says your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine. So some of you got 3544 on the timer. So some of you guys already know what you need to do because you're receiving you're receiving messages from God. God is nudging you. God is pushing you. God is giving you the signs and synchronicities and you guys are just ignoring them. You guys are like, "Nah, that can't be it. No, nah, that ain't true." In reality, if your heart is telling you something, if your body is telling you something, if your mind is telling you something, if you see something in your third eye, you need to follow that because that's your intuition. Your intuition will never stay you wrong. You know what people also uh, resonate with intuition is like your gut feeling. Those gut feelings that you all are having, you guys need to follow them because they're here to help you. They're here to guide you. These are your spirit guides right here. These are your spirit guides telling you, no, turn this way backpedal stop right here like they've been with you the whole time and they want you to listen to them because they're here to help you and love you okay guys so this is a really long reading i hope you all enjoy okay i hope it helped um i'm sending you all love and light y'all gonna be all right all right just listen to your spirit guides y'all pray listen to god listen to your body listen to your intuitive feelings do what you know is right Y'all are ignoring your own intuition. And that's why y'all are in fucked up situations and y'all are going down the wrong path, okay? It's never too late to turn back. I love you guys so much and I'll see you all in the next reading. Peace and love. Bye.